Today I've got one of my favorite videos that I get to shoot. I've got mail that was sent to me from you, the viewers, the supporters of my YouTube channel. These are my favorite videos to shoot because everything in these packages are mystery packages. Very rarely do I ever get contacted first. Um, from time to time, people contact me and say, hey, I'm gonna send you a package of something, um, just a heads up. I'm like, oh, thank you so much, cool. But most of the times, I have no idea it's coming and I have no idea what's in these packages. So everything I get is always so much appreciated. People, out of the kindness of their heart, send me items. A lot of times it's items just because I'm a huge collector of autographs and memorabilia. They send me items from their collections. I just always have so much fun with these videos. Um, I would love to do one every single day if I could, but uh, yeah, let's just get into this. Today I've got a total of, I think one, two, three envelopes, two packages, and a letter. One of the envelopes I accidentally opened up because I thought it was something I bought off eBay, but it wasn't. So there is one that's already pre-opened, so we'll do that one first because I messed up because I was expecting something off of eBay and I actually had an item sent to my UPS mailbox. Um, because everybody who sends me stuff, they always send it to my UPS like business mailbox. I always leave my UPS mailbox link in the description for all my videos because people, um, whenever they want to send me stuff, I say, hey, you know what, here's my business mailbox. If you want to send me stuff, you can send it there. But there's no pressure. I'm not trying to, you know, demand people send me stuff. Anything I get is much appreciated. I keep everything that I get because I think it's freaking awesome. So... I ordered an item, I had it sent to my UPS mailbox, and I thought this was it because of how it felt. I opened it up, and it wasn't. So, the first item from a subscriber, the name of it is Crossgrove. There is a letter in it, okay? Harry Crossgrove, Dear Clint, I've been a school teacher in the Philadelphia area for the past 18 years. Working with computers, I constantly have to redirect students who are on YouTube when they should be working on classwork. However, on one of these occasions, I was introduced to your channel as thrifting, reselling, superheroes, and Funko Pops are hobbies of mine. I am drawn to your pound unboxings and wish I had the time and outlet to sell and get into that myself. But see, that's one of the fun things about pallet flipping and uh, liquidations is that anybody can do that. It doesn't take any kind of you know, advanced schooling or really uh, any kind of, like, you, any common Joe can do it. That's what's cool about reselling. Anybody can do it, you know? The purpose of this package is to thank you for bringing the love of mystery boxes to me. I feel like a little kid when I, when a package gets in with the same excitement as when I was a kid opening a new pack of baseball cards. Yeah, I collected baseball cards too when I, when I was a kid, all the way up to my, my, to like my teenage years. I was disappointed when I mistakenly subscribed to the wrong wrestling box, Wrestling Crate, instead of Pro Wrestling Crate. This was corrected when Pro Wrestling Crate bought them out. I never canceled my old order, and it was renewed along with New Year subscription. I love your passion for wrestling and everything AEW. When I saw how your box came through the mail system, I knew that to do with my extra pieces. <coughs> um, was it back in May? My subscription box was completely trashed. The shipping box was had a big hole in it and half of my box fell out of it during shipping so I was missing a lot of items. Um, keep making the videos and branching out into new palettes and mystery. I love the little kid in you as you get your new toys. Awesome. So here's what he sent me actually. I actually already looked at it because I thought this was something I bought off eBay. But uh, he was very very kind and he actually sent me items that I was missing from my subscription box that uh that fell out so he sent me from his extra box the mjf micro brawler he sent me the scu monthly pin sent me the aw iron on patch and to top it off uh my box did have the autograph picture but it was it was pretty damaged and I'm an autograph collector, so I'm I'm picky when it comes to autographs. And uh, he even put this in cardboard to protect it. I'm very picky when it comes to my autographs, and that picture was damaged, and it just it broke my heart. Oh, he even put it into a hard case for me. 
awesome. So then he sent me his extra of Kylie Ray. So that is so awesome. That is that's why I love my subscribers. Um, my viewers, Harry saw my video where my mystery or my subscription box was missing items from it, and I was pretty bummed because it's my favorite sub subscription box. And he reached out to me and he sent me the missing items. So Harry, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was so nice of you. That is awesome. So let's do a package. Um, this one I got in all the way from. Look like it's from United Kingdom. It says it's actually a Funko Pop figure. I don't know how this thing did not get completely crunched during shipping. I don't know how it survived, but it survived. So there's no name outside this package of who it's from. So I'm guessing whoever sent this probably put a note inside the package. So a viewer from overseas sent me a Funko Pop. There's... There's no note. There's no return address, no name, there's no note inside of it. So whoever sent me this Funko Pop, thank you very much. I don't see any kind of note inside with the Funko Pop. Let me be careful opening this thing up so I don't cut the box. So here's the Funko Pop. Yeah, there's no note inside the package, inside, the, inside of the... Uh, the bubble wrap, so I'm not, I don't know who sent this to me, so if you sent this to me and you live in the UK, please contact me, let me know, so I can personally thank you. Um, so here's the Funko Pop, Star Wars L337 is the Funko Pop. It is a little bit, the box has a little bit damage on it because, I mean, it came all the way from the UK to the US, so just the minor damage on it, um, that's, that's, that's not bad. So yeah, I will keep this. I keep everything my subscribers send me. Please contact me. Let me know who's, who sent this so I can thank you personally. Next, I've got a package from Ash Henry. And the back of it, they actually drew the Franchise Kicks logo. So whatever is in this item, it kind of feels like a picture frame. Hmm. Very curious of what this could be. Let's see. Okay, here's a letter right on top. Let me put the letter first. Greetings from Morgantown, West Virginia. Dear Clint, my name is Ash Henry and my boyfriend's name is Barry. We love watching everything on your channel. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. At one time, we had a Franchise Kicks Marathon. It literally auto-played your videos for hours, and we watched, and we just watched and watched. I tend to repeat myself a lot, so uh, if you watch me for hours, you, you probably heard me repeat the same things a few times. I can't say we have enough balls yet to try purchasing any liquidation pallets. Uh, don't be scared to try. Just... Purchase your first few that aren't very expensive just to get your feet wet. You know, purchase some inexpensive ones. You know what I'm saying? Just just try. But I'm sure if we keep watching you, the courage will come. Left, left, or My boyfriend loves your shoe collection. Yeah, I've got uh, probably like 300 pairs of sneakers. Jordans, Nike, Adidas, Yeezys. All, all kinds of sneakers. We just love your hand gestures. I was just doing all my hand gestures. <laughs> we just love your hand gestures. And your humor while we're going through some of your stuff you received. I hope you enjoy the drawing I sent you. It took me about four hours to complete. I apologize in advance for any quality issues. I had to work with Kitty sketch paper from the dollar store and minimal charcoal that I had left. I also apologize for the multiple spelling errors in this letter. You know what? I spell uh, probably the worst speller in the world. So your spelling is better than me. Trust me. If you could send me something signed by you, it could be anything. I would be so grateful. I'll send you something. If the franchise wife could sign also, that would be even better. We're big fans of you both. Thanks, Ash Henry. So, Ash Henry and the boyfriend, Barry. Thank you so much. So, I'll make sure and keep your address. Yep, it's on the front of the package. It looks really. I, I glanced at it. And it looks really cool. 
That looks really cool. That looked really cool. I can't draw at all. I am terrible. Okay, I glanced at through through the bubble wrap and it looked awesome. I'm gonna show you the camera first before I actually look at it without the bubble wrap. I I can't I'm not sure if it's focused there or not because I can't see my lens right now. Here we go. That's awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. That is awesome. I like he even got the eyebrow. My signature eyebrow. That's all. Uh, you even got the blue eyes, the eyebrow. You even got how my nose is like a little bit, a little bit crooked. You got how my ear sticks out a little bit more than the other ear. You even got like the beard line. That's really good, actually. That's really good. Now that is freaking awesome. That's really good. I love it. That is awesome. Yeah, this will go up on the wall in this room. Probably next to my picture of Michael Jordan on the wall right there. This is really cool. So Ash Henry and boyfriend Barry, this is awesome. Thank you so much. This is incredible. Let's see. Let's do this one. We've got, this one is just, the company, it says Sharp Knives. So I think somebody saw that uh, my knife's always dull. The last video, though, I was actually sent a knife sharpener from a company. Uh, I think it's called J&T Treasures, and I use it to sharpen my knife. It cuts better now. But, yep. Yeah. I got a new knife. Cool. So sharp knives. So I'm not too sure if this was sent by the company itself or if it was a subscriber who sent it to me. There's a note in here. Oh, it is a thank you note from the business, thanking me for the business. So it looks like it was it was bought from a customer from a from a viewer. Oh, this is awesome. Everybody knows that I love Marvel. And it's got the freaking Punisher on it. Look at that. Punisher on the front in blue. And it's got the Punisher logo on the on the back in black. Up here it's got like blue Punisher flames. Okay, let me go ahead. Let me set this knife off to, to the side. I might have to retire this knife. Here we go. You ready? Oof, it flicks out nice too. Let's try it again. Flicks nice. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Yeah, I need to expand my knife collection more. I've got like half dozen knives. Actually, most every knife I have, I got out of liquidation pallets. Almost, I think every single knife I owned was from a pallet that I kept. And I don't really have any cool knives like this. But yeah, this knife is freaking awesome. Yeah, my wife actually has a better knife collection than what I have now. She had a bunch of uh, viewers that sent her knives. And yeah, she's got a really cool knife collection now. But... I got a really cool knife now also, so she's going to love this. But yeah, that Punisher is cool. I like it. So if you're the subscriber, the viewer who sent this to me, please reach out to me. Let me know. You're the one that sent this to me so I can personally thank you. Last package. And we're going to use the new knife. Flicks out very nice. So this package, the front of the box says, please only use his first name on YouTube. So this is from Brian, okay? And on the box, he put on here, do not crush on every, he put do not crush on every side of the box. So whatever's in here, it's fragile. Woo. That cuts like butter. Slide. Not that there's nothing like a nice fresh knife with a nice super sharp blade. Let's see. Oop. Slice. Make sure his last name didn't show. Here we go. So he's got it kind of hidden right now. Let's see what the note says. Clint. Hey Clint, I really enjoy watching your Funko unboxing videos. My family has recently started collecting them and we are having fun with it. I recently was at Baskin and Robbins and was told that on 6 2 2019 they would be releasing an exclusive Funko Pop. We only have seven Baskin and Robbins in this state, and I was sure I would never find one. Luckily, I was able to buy one on release date to add to my collection, 
as we were limited to one per person. I went back the next day to the store after calling the other stores and was told they were sold out. I noticed they had a box in the store display unit and asked the manager to sell me that one. She agreed and I figured I would send you the last Funko available for retail sale in the state of Connecticut. I apologize that the box has some minor damage from probably being the display version, but it was the last one. I'm sure you may have heard of stores gouging the prices on these. Yes, I've seen some prices charge as much as $40 for that. Stores around here in Indianapolis were charging $24.99 for that pop. They were, it's not as bad, but they were, they were gouging around here. But I will say the stores in Connecticut were ethical and only sold them at retail prices. Hopefully you enjoy adding this to your collection. We enjoyed adding it to ours. Here we go. Got a, ooh, got a nicely packaged. Look at that. So yeah, I will keep this. Add this with everything else that I've been sent from subscribers. So here is the exclusive Stranger Things Steve Baskin Robbins exclusive. Yeah, that's a cool Funko Pop. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of like corner damage here. It looks like it looks like somebody dropped it. Probably it was it was on display and probably fell off the display right there. But it's awesome you're able to get two of them at retail. Most people, honestly, they didn't get theirs at retail. Most of these stores they price gouged, double, triple prices. I like I said, I saw some prices at forty bucks. Some stores there was one store I saw you had to pay thirty nine. 99 and buy the t-shirt the t-shirt was like 20 bucks so pretty much you had to spend 60 bucks to get the funko pop that's crazy so everybody who sent me items in this video i really appreciate everybody who sent me items i got so much cool stuff very appreciative people always ask me how do i how do you send me stuff every video i always leave my ups mailbox address in the description box you're feel free to send me stuff you're not obligated to don't feel as if you're being pressured to but people ask me for the address and it's that's where it always is but you're not you're not i'm not pressuring you to send me stuff okay but if you do thank you so much i appreciate everything so i'll see you next time with another mail day video i'm out Perfect.